So it's recording. Will this work? Yes. Okay. I got to remember that. Go back and forth. So I'm here. Then I'm here. Okay. This is my lecture for in-text citation. So I hope it helps. I had somebody request more information or more detailed. I'm learning something new with the video, so I hope it works. It did the last time I tried it, but uh, we'll see when I record it. So this is showing you when you get into this information, and this is outside of EBSCO. This is when you get into your articles for your cited resources, four or five, and possibly six. I'll let you decide if you want EBSCO on six, but two have to be from some other source on the internet. So let's go for it now let's see oh here we go okay now this is an article from actually one of those sites that i gave you the link for this is global climate change is the name of this global climate change nasa if this is a nasa let's see can i bring this up you see how this is nasa hold on hold on see it's nasa global climate change Okay, that's the name of your source. Now, the title of it is Prior Weather Link to Rapid Intensification of Hurricanes Near Landfalls. All right, so let's see if I can get this done. This right here is your article. That's the name of it. This Esprit Smith, that is the author of this article. This tells you basically who this person works for when connection to NASA. Okay, let's see. See how this weird, this is just weird. All right, let's see if this works. All right, now if I scroll down and I'm going to go to this one. All right, I think is that the one? Yeah. We're here. It talks about although most, although most hurricanes tend to weaken as they approach, land some rapidly increase and it goes into this okay now the what it talks about is the good news the results of a new study published by this person identify pre-storms conditions that can contribute to this rapid intensification okay so if i'm here this is the information i want okay now notice that it is actually not in quotation marks Okay, so if I'm here, that wasn't in quotation marks, but that would be the information you use. Now, I'm at that same paragraph. Here we go. What it tells me is that this is the nature communication and it's a study. This tells me the organization that this information of identify pre-storm conditions comes from. Okay, I go down. Let's hope this works. Now, this is a, this right here is more information. This is a direct quote that you can paraphrase with if you wanted to use it or not. If I look here, this is the information it comes from. I'll read it to you after I underline it. Hopefully this will be good. All right. We analyzed the events that led up to Hurricane Michael in 2018 and found that the storm was preceded by a marine heat wave, an area of the coastal ocean water that had become abnormally warm. Okay, that would be the information that I had just underlined. Now, in text, what that means is this is information quoted from somebody else, gotten from somebody or some organization that is not the author. Remember that Esprit person, the author, the, the author at the beginning? Okay, so this particular information, this headline right here that I just did, continue on, it gives you credit. This is the person, Severny Fournier. That is the name of the person that gives you the information. NASA Jet Propul 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 Propulsion, no, there we go. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Scientist and co-author of the study, okay? That is how he's credible. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Science, that's Sever Severine Fournier, okay? I don't, okay. Now, I'm not sure that whether this helps or not. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to go down here. Same thing. Here's another quote. If you can kind of see what I'm doing, it's still Fournier. Notice 
when you see this, if that's what you want to use and it uses the last name, let me kind of show you. That's the last name. Okay. All right. No, I can't do that. Sorry. I was going to try writing the name, but I only have an actual thing to underline. So anyway, that's the last name. When you come across this and you haven't used anything previously, you will have to scroll back up till you get to, where do you find Fournier? There he is, okay? So if I go down here, it says NASA scientists have been tackling the question of what causes hurricanes to intensify rapidly just before landfall from multiple angles. Another recent study, and if you see this in blue, I'm not gonna click on it, but that will go on to something else that you could use. But it's a study by, here we go, JPLs who soup, that's somebody's name. The JPLs has got to be some lab or something. That would be your in text. Okay, I don't know if this is helpful or not, but we will hope that it is. So go ahead, ask questions, continue your cited resource. Remember, we have less than six weeks to get everything done. And this is a big grade. It'll be several, couple, about 300 points total when we're finished, give or take. Try this. Use this. And the big thing, read the entire article. Oh, another thing. You might read an article that has nothing. Don't put it down as your cited source if it doesn't have any information. Only focus on climate change and the factors that lead to human migration or economic problems that lead to human migration. You want the causes, not just statistics. Have a great day. Let me know if this helps or not, or if you have questions.